Hello, my name is Ashley Sharon. I'm the founder and CEO of Share and Love Fund. Today, I welcome you to our RYT 300, where we are going to learn the anatomy of what is going on with high lunge with a prayer twist. So just as a little review, high lunge from Tadasana, in, um, face forward, inhale, arms up, exhale, step forward. The front leg is um, a right angle. Bring the hands to heart center and then come around for a prayer twist. On the other side, you can bring both um, legs together like a chair with a prayer twist. Bring it to the other side, chair with a prayer twist and then, oopsie daisy, and then bring it around. High lunge with a prayer twist on both sides. To get out of it, you can bring yourself back to chair with a prayer twist, come up to Tadasana. Okay, so what is going on anatomy-wise? We have our little buddy, Mr. Bones. I'm going to just grab my notes. So high lunge with a prayer twist. This is um, beneficial because it's also a stretch and a strengthening pose. It strengthens muscles, the power of your stride and your hip flexors. In the big picture, this is a pose um, where the muscles and the hips and your glutes behind, um, they stretch and they activate, activate dramatically to keep you balanced. The twist emphasizes that need to balance and stabilize so it gets the glutes to work a little more. Your muscles strongly engage to stabilize your hips, your knees, and your core muscles. Stabilize your spine while you twist. Now let's talk about the alignment a little bit. So the knee goes directly over the ankle. The chin can be a little high. The spine is extended and twisted. Scissor the thighs together. Press down onto the feet to really engage the core. Feet hip distance apart. And then on the back foot of this, you want the pressure on the ball of the foot. So when we, uh, do this, it's, it's the ball of the foot. Okay, so now let's talk about what's going on with the neck. So your cervical extensors engage to extend your cervical spine while your cervical flexors engage and lengthen to stabilize your neck, preventing your head from dropping back. In the front of your neck, you have the longest muscles, the sternio, it's a mouthful, and I'm doing this live, so, so there's no going back. Sternio, sternocleidomastoid, sternocleidomastoid, and the splenius muscles in the neck. And the arms, as you're bending to do that prayer, you're using your elbow on your upper arm, your brachy, brachio rad, radia, radialis muscle on um, your upper arm, the inner muscle, brachy, brachialis. Your biceps brachy, the deltoids, your shoulder. And on the inside of the ribs, the serratus interior. For your arms, your shoulder flexors engage. Your interior deltoids aid the shoulders in flexion while your posterior deltoids lengthen and twist. Some of the fibers engage to stabilize and externally rotate your shoulders, your triceps, extend as you bend and turn. This is a torso stretch. You have your spinal 
um, extensors, your tri transverse abdominis, engage and stabilize your spine, your rhomboids, and trapezius, engage to um, retract your scapula, softening um, your upper trapezius as you flex your shoulders and release tension. Your latissimus, dorsi stretches with your shoulders and flexion. There's a lot going on here. Briefly, the front leg, what is going on there? So the front leg that is bent. So when you're in this high lunge with the twist, the front leg that is bent. Your hip flexors and external rotators stabilize your hips and knees. Your gluteus maximus stretches while engaging um, to hold the pose. Your hamstrings, your hamstrings behind your leg, they flex and stabilize your knees while lengthening um, in hip flexion. Your quadriceps engage while being lengthened. The calf muscles engage and lengthen. Your tibialis anterior works to stabilize your ankle. Now what is going on in that back leg? So we have one leg bent and the other leg straight and we're on the ball of our feet. In that back leg that is extended long, sorry Mr. Bones, he's all twisted up. In that back leg extended longer, um, you're on the ball of your foot. Your hip extensors extend your hip while the hip flexors stretch and your quadriceps extend your knee. All of your, um, all your dorsiflexors engage to come onto the toes. And if you sink your weight back, if you sink your weight, weight back into that back toe, um, you'll feel a stretch in your calf muscles and the muscles in the um, fascia on the soles of your feet. And that can also help with plantar fasciitis as you really stretch that muscle on the sole of your foot. If you need more stability, try pressing into the ball of your foot. So a lot going on in high lunge with a revolved um, prayer twist. Namaste.